Just about to start our Birmingham Immersion CSA course this morning, starting about half an hour. I thought I'd do a quick video about cholesteatoma and what to think about if a patient presents with what you think is this and how you explain some of these things as to what happens next. So remember, a cholesteatoma, if you're trying to explain someone, is an abnormal collection of skin cells inside the ear. We don't exactly know why it happens, but you can get quite a rapid buildup of these cells inside. It can lead to lots of symptoms, but predominantly things like discharge, typically smelly discharge. Often you'll hear of a story where they've had antibiotics regularly thinking there's recurrent infections. Conductive hearing loss, quite typical because of the blockage inside, but also things like tinnitus or, or dizziness. There can be a variety of ear or ENT symptoms. If you examine it classically, you're looking for this pearly white debris on the inside, but also look out for ear perforations as well. There's an association sometimes. The risks that you try to explain to someone are local expansion, so it can bury itself inside, affecting things like the facial nerve, the inner ear, and ultimately getting into the brain, leading to things like abscesses, meningitis as well. So it's quite a serious thing. You generally refer to ENT, because ultimately the only thing you can do is get rid of that cholesteatoma from inside, so it prevents some of these complications. So cholesteatoma, think about abnormal collection of skin cells, leads to various symptoms, ultimately surgical extraction. Hope this helps.